Hey guys, it is Jessica. I contemplated whether or not to make this video today because I have been going through a rough time mentally. Um, as you may know, we've been kind of displaced. Um, we moved across country and some things have happened with the closing of our home. Um, we actually had an appraiser that did the entire report and just never turned it in and kind of went MIA and was was telling us every single day that it was coming in an hour and they told us that for five days. Uh, all of our stuff is locked in our moving trucks and I really don't want to make this about the details of that. But I decided to come on here because, you know, I, over the course of my past decade of a, as a coach, I've kind of made it... Um, made a decision that I wanted to share the good and the bad with you guys, right? And to always find the lesson and to, uh, you know, not just paint a picture of perfection, especially in this social media age where, you know, it can be really easy to think maybe something's wrong with you if you're struggling when all you see, you know, are the highlight reels of other people's lives. So I try to be as authentic as possible without just sounding like I'm complaining. Um, and that's where I was a little uh, kind of guarded against making this video because I always want to encourage you and help you in some way. But I'm hoping that by sharing my truth in this moment, that maybe it will help you in some way. Because the truth of the matter is, uh, I've learned a lot about myself over the course of the last two weeks since we first um, left our house in Arizona and made our cross-country trip. And there have been a lot of struggles and a lot of hardships and a lot of it is extra challenging for me because I am such a planner and I am an achiever and I love having boxes to check and I really just feel my best self when I am productive and useful. Um, I'm solution oriented. I love getting things done and to just kind of have my hands tied uh, has felt very, very helpless. But I wanted to come on here and share this with you guys because what I've also learned about myself is that I'm, ex which I knew, I know, I'm extremely hard on myself. You know, I'm my own worst critic, as they say, which maybe you're like this as well. And that's why I did want to come share this with you is, you know, as if everything that kind of we are juggling was not enough on top of it. I would spend probably 50% of my mental struggle time um, beating myself up for not handling this better and being disappointed in myself. Sorry. And I wanted to share that with you because it's not productive, <laughs> right? It's not, I feel like if there's an area that I can improve, it would be in that area because it is making everything tougher. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're so hard on yourself and you're already going through something, but now you're upset at yourself for going through something, right? Um, I remember when I was pregnant, this that was one of my biggest struggles because I was nauseous my entire pregnancy and I was just disappointed in myself. I just wanted to feel different. I wanted to handle things differently. I wanted to be able to do better. But what I think I'm really learning, you know, because everyone would say, give yourself grace. That was like the number one thing people would tell me and, you know, I feel like it's been a positive in my life to not give myself grace, to not give myself an out, to be a driver, you know, to do things no matter what. But I think sometimes when things are out of our control, that can be at a detriment um, to ourself, to our results, to our success, to our sanity. So I just wanted to encourage you today because I also recently listened to a podcast by Shanti and, and it was on the concept of uh, what did he actually call it? Toxic positivity. Now, I've never heard this um, this kind of phrase before. I don't know if it's even if it's a new coined phrase or what. But toxic positivity is about when you're you're kind of like uh, responding to a situation in a positive way, but it's toxic in its delivery. Meaning, if somebody's really struggling and you just kind of flippantly tell them, you know, look on the bright side, or. Uh, you know, if you're just going through something, well, be thankful for what you do have. And what happens in those phrases is, I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> you will make it through. There are things you could be thankful for, right? Like none of that is wrong. But I think when, at least for me, when I'm told statements like that, I immediately feel shame. 
I feel like I failed. I feel like, man, I'm wrong and, and I just feel worse. And so he goes on to talk about how it's about like letting people have their emotions and have the process that they might need to go through in that moment and just being there for them in that moment. And I'm so glad I listened to that because it really helped me catch my own struggles of my own toxic positivity to myself. Because that's what I was doing to myself. I was like, come on, Jessica. Like, things could be worse. Come on, Jessica. Um, you know, you have so much to be thankful for. Focus on the bright side. Like, And I wasn't saying those um, as a kind reminder that maybe I had overlooked. I was saying those in the context of you suck and you can do better. And I think sometimes we do need to give ourselves grace. And we do need to realize that when things are out of our control... It's okay to not be okay. And the more that I would just kind of tell myself that, you know, I would feel a little bit better. And I would feel a little bit more hopeful instead of more shamed and um, just worse in the moment. So I swear I am doing good. I know we are going to make it through. And, um, but you know, I just want to encourage you if you're going through something that it's okay to not be okay. Yes, I know we will be okay, right? And every storm passes and there will be a rainbow waiting for us. But if you're in the middle of something, I just want to encourage you not to be too hard on yourself, not to add to the load that you're already carrying because it can be heavy. And I've even had seasons in my life where one thing could not bother me at all, right? Like I wouldn't even pay any attention to it. But in a different season of my life, it could feel very heavy and very burdensome and I could hardly bear the load. So that's another reason why I think it's so critical to give ourselves a little bit of grace and a little bit of just allowance to go through things because getting through the thing is how we grow. But if we shame ourselves, if we shame other people, if we stay stuck in, um, you know, just the downward spiral that can come out of struggles, then we never we never get to to get to the rainbow. So I just want to give you permission. Feel your feelings. If you're having a bad day, you can have a bad day. Don't beat yourself up more for it. But I'm also here to just listen if you ever need to, because sometimes that's that's so helpful. <laughs> Far more than any advice I could give. So let me know if this made any sense. If you think I'm a crazy person, I am. <laughs> And I hope you guys are having a great week. See you later.